the moment, you've been offering weddings at four and a half thousand pounds. Yeah. So I got someone in who specialises in weddings. When she saw the rooms and was told how much you were charging, well, she said for the state that these are in, it was an obscenely large amount of money. Having said that, were it to be done up moderately, she believes that you could potentially do 20 weddings a year, charging a more modest two and a half to 3,000. With this more representative pricing structure, the Fulfords could turn over up to £60,000 a year from weddings alone. But Simon wants them to think beyond marriage ceremonies to other events which could bring customers back time and time again. He's had an innovative idea that makes use of the large, empty ballroom. My view is that we create the Fulfords film and food evening here, essentially creating a pop-up country house cinema. And I think it's achievable. It doesn't require an enormous amount of capital expenditure. I will say I do think that is a very good idea. Thank you, Kashanda. <laughs> no. I, have to. All, yeah. I mean, I have to say... You think it's a good idea? I think right. it's a very good idea. One area where Simon believes the Fulfords are on the right track is their plan to lease some of their land for game shooting. Francis is already in negotiations with a shooting syndicate, but Simon believes that unless Kashanda drops their room prices, they will be missing out on vital extra income. Now, in terms of the accommodation, I love staying in the room that you, you did up um, upstairs. It was really comfortable, really warm once I got my electric radiators going. But not all the rooms are of that standard. I think £275 is an absurd amount of money to charge for that room, based upon the thousands of hotel rooms and B&B and, and &B rooms I've stayed in in my life. You say 275 which is not, of course, the rate for a room. It's the rate for the room with dinner, with all the drink you require. How many and people have stayed in those rooms? I only oh, had uh, sorry, one. I'm... Darling, no, you no, can... Oh, you... No, I don't Please, want to. I don't care. Well, I do. Well, I do care. She doesn't want to care. She doesn't get it. But the point is... There's no point walking, walking out. out. What you say, why is it? It's because... Francis, why don't I don't, you leave? Well, because, because you can't see the point. The point is, here you get into a private house, Yes, but Francis, I'm sorry, you're, but you're, you're, no, we are not competing. You're missing, you're we are missing not the point. Those, competing those with a hotel. I know. We are not a I know. fucking hotel. I know. But the point is that all this offer of, oh, you can come and you can stay and it's like oh. you're in my house. Lots of people don't want that moment. No. The idea of spending £275 is going to be anathema to most people. I promise you, it is too much money. 